let's talk about a few things that are current event, which is something a lot of people are interested in. So your fight ends um, uh, with uh, 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 Cyril, and you win the fight, and one of the biggest controversies was, hey, where is Dana to put the belt on and not to put the belt on? <laughs> He's addressed it, you've addressed it, but I'm curious to know what your thoughts are going to be at this point. Dana comes out and says, listen, I actually walked out of the arena right after the co-main event because there was stuff going on that I was dealing with. And I, I can see that happening when you're running a business. This is a big fight, though, that you were having. Yeah. For anybody to think that I was showing any type of disrespect towards Francis, I saw Francis all week, you idiots. I shook his hand. I said hi to him. I was out there for stare downs, the whole thing. So for anybody to think that there was some type of disrespect towards Francis, I wasn't out there for Michael Bisbing versus Luke Rockhold's fight, either because I was dealing with some stuff. I sprinted from back. I didn't even have my jacket on. I only had my shirt on to go and put the belt on Bisbing, but I couldn't make it out there to put the belt on Francis. So at this point, everyone said what they've said. How, how did you feel afterwards when he wasn't there? Did you guys have a follow-up conversation together? Personally, <laughs> I didn't care. I made my statement that night. I was happy. You know, and um, I don't know. If that's true or not, I don't care. What I do know is like I made my statement. It wasn't about the belt. It wasn't an around about uh, Dana wrapping the belt around me or the press conference or anybody. By the way, Nick Manor, which is a, for me is a great guy, wrapped the belt around my waist. And uh, that wouldn't be a problem for me. Maybe he has a... Um, uh, a situation going on I have no problem with Mick wrapping the belt around my waist you know I'm very cool I'm very happy uh, with Mick um, doesn't mean anything things was great maybe people are having this speculation because of our situation mm -hmm. uh, the state of our situation but it's possible that something happened you know uh that he was out for some business, but um, I don't care. I mean, you can ask people for so much, but the only thing that you can, the biggest respect that you're going to have is you respecting yourself, standing by what you believe, and then making your point. And that's what I did that night. So whatever was around it, I don't care. If you enjoyed this short clip, click over here to watch another short clip. And if you want to watch the entire episode, the entire podcast, click here.